Hello. So today's lesson, we're going to be looking at alternate picking. We're going to be moving away from looking at this hand in particular for this lesson and focusing on this hand, the hand that holds your guitar plectrum. So we're going to look at a technique called alternate picking, which is picking down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, many guitarists in lots of different genres of music use this. Um, it's very common in jazz music, uh, particularly when they're playing their sort of lead solos over that. Many guitar, many jazz guitarists use uh, strictly alternate picking, so they pick every single note. And when they're playing really, really quickly, they need to be picking every note in a certain way. Um, Brian May uses a lot of it in a lot of his music from Queen, especially when he's playing his chords and when he does his licks. Um, but it's used in lots and lots of different genres of music. And the key to um, the key principle behind alternate picking and what it's going to do for you, it's going to be able to, for you to speed up uh, and develop your playing to its maximum potential. So, for example, I've seen a lot of uh, guitarists, um, particularly beginner guitarists, when they're playing their first licks or their doing uh, their scales and things like that. And the fret hand's great, what they're doing, they've got good technique, they're behind the fret, they're using, they're using their fingertips, but it's the right hand which can sometimes limit them because they're picking down on every single note. And that is really hard to build up speed. Um, it does have purpose, picking down on every single note, and there are many guitarists who'd use uh, a lot of down picking strokes, particularly in metal music. Um, James Hetfield from Metallica is very good at uh, picking down. Um, but they also use alternate picking when they want to build up their speed. So if I was taking the G major scale, going down is a uh, it's okay, but it's it's going to limit my speed and and limit my uh, how fluent I'm going to be with this with this scale. For example. <laughs> Now that's all down picking and that's fine, but I'm not really able to go any faster than that while producing the same clean notes. I want to sort of think about doing this up, down, up, say so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're going to look at a few uh, techniques for that. So we're going to focus on this hand today. So what I want you to do is to pick any string you want, any, pick any note you want. I like to stand up quite high, so I'm going to pick uh, fret nine on uh, the G string. <laughs> which is an E, okay, the note E. And I'm just gonna play on that note and I'm just gonna rest my hand uh, around the guitar and uh, around sort of this part of the guitar. You might want to play up here, depending on where you're, where you're comfortable with. And you're just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, there's a couple of things to really be careful of and to keep in mind when you're um, starting to do alternate picking. Two things, um, avoiding bad technique. And one of the techniques that can uh, easily be picked up is this motion. I'm gonna show on the camera here. Uh, so if you've, got the cam if, you have the, if you've got your pick, you want to avoid doing that kind of motion, okay? You're not gonna develop any speed by doing that kind of motion. It, you're, you're kind of using your thumb and you're not using your wrist all the strength and all uh, the power and all um, the technique is gonna come from the wrist. So doing this is a big no-no, so please avoid doing that. You also, you want to make sure that you're relaxing this wrist. This, this, uh, the speed of this and the control of this is not gonna get any be uh, better unless you start to relax and let the muscle develop. It's gonna take some time, but if you really tense and hold it, you're gonna knack yourself out quickly um, and you won't be able to have uh, you won't be able to play and use alternate picking for a long period of time and also you might lead to some muscular strain as well. So you want to keep it nice and relaxed, really nice and relaxed here and just slowly up and down. I'm going at a speed where I know I'm relaxed. I'm not really picking the note that much, very nice and relaxed. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And as you get more confident with that, you might want to uh, build up the speed a little bit. Remember to keep that muscle nice and relaxed, your hand nice and relaxed, and you're just working on the up, down, up, down motion. Like so. If you do find yourself starting to get really hard and really, uh, uh, really stiff with this wrist, then you're going to teach yourself some really bad techniques. So slow down and take it nice and slowly. Definitely working to a metronome for this kind of exercise is um, a really, really good idea. Now, 
Uh, the other thing I wanted to make you aware of is how you hold your pick. So if we've got a pick like this, um, I don't want to hit it square on to the string, okay? So I'm not going to hit it square on. I'm going to tilt my pick to the side. So I'm going to try and show you on the camera down here. I'm going to tilt my pick to the side as if it's tilting towards me and kind of use the side of the pick as well. Instead of saying square on, it, it, there's a tendency to catch those picks on the string. So I'm going to turn the pick towards me slightly. So I'm kind of using the corner and the edge of it really. And that's going to help me with my picking technique. And then once I get more confident, I can start to speed that up. So you've got to try and find the, the part where, and the speed where you're relaxed with it. Um, it's not just limited to licks as well. You can use it in chords. Uh, there's a very, very famous riff, which I'm sure everyone knows from the Rocky Three soundtrack. It's Survivor, Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> that kind of thing. That's just using an alternate picking on a basic chord. Uh, like I mentioned before, Brian May uses um, lots of up, downs and strokes, particularly with chords as well. Uh, tie Your Mother Down is a really good one. So, Give that a go, um, have a look at the technique behind that, and this is something that you can do with a, when you don't actually have to focus too much on what you're doing. Once you've got the technique down and you've got the, the foundations of it, this is something that you can do when, uh, when you're watching TV or if you're sitting on the sofa. It's just a technique and you don't even have to use your fret hand. You can just sit there on the string and just make it nice and relaxed, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you can start applying that to lots of different things like scales. <laughs> You can start applying it to licks. Okay, things like that. So give that a go, take it nice and slowly, and uh, see how you get. <laughs>